Hey guys, um, the other thing that I've been using my red tools for as a team leader is to stay in touch with a group of agents over um, a series of weeks using a drip campaign, um, which is a drip campaign is an email that goes out automatically. We don't even have to think about it. We put them into a group and we just fire it off. So let me show you how I've been doing that within my red tools. Uh, we're going to go ahead and from the main menu here, send a direct mail or email campaign. Go ahead and click on that. Um, and there's just a few steps to go through. It goes by really fast. I can, I can have this set up in about two minutes if I want to. Um, the type of media I want to send out um, will be email. But you can, if you want, send direct mail. And we've got different types of postcards to do it with as well. So we'll select email. Um, and then who am I marketing to? Um, again, a lot of stuff in here for our agents. You'll see the, the METS databases, the 33 touches. Um, but for us, for team leaders, of course, we're going to select uh, KW Team Leader Recruiting Real Estate Agents because that is what we do. And then we get to choose a marketing theme. Um, the one I like is this KW Inspire. It's got some pretty neat stuff in it. And then we decide how often we want it to be sent. Um, we've been trained, again, with our 8x8, our 33 touch, I actually want to um, go ahead and just do an 8x8. Eight eight. Okay. And then the neat thing here is we get to view it. So I click on View This Campaign. It shows us all these postcards, which I think are, are beautiful, and they look really awesome when the agent receives the email. Um, so and we can flip through them just to make sure that we're good with what we're sending out. Um, the text and the verbiage in here are really neat, so I don't really take too much time to edit any of these because I know that they've done a, a wonderful job of getting some good, um, some good information in there. And the really neat thing about this is the email to the realtor, that would be me, um, when the campaign is done. Um, it just tells you that it's, it's over with and that um, you probably want to start a new one. So we're going to go ahead and select this campaign. And then I decide who I want to send it to. We can send it to a single client if you want. So for instance, if I've met with a recruit and I want to put them on this drip, I can just go ahead and select one person. But typically, you know, we want to send out to a group a lot of times. So I'm going to go into my database and select my, let's say my top 50 to send this one out to. Again, you can change the text. I typically don't in here because I know that they've done they they've done a great job, um, and these email or these emails are they're catchy. I've gotten a lot of responses back from agents probably I wouldn't have otherwise, just because they they look good and the message is so neat that they they want to contact me and they want to call me and um, talk about it. So I'm going to go ahead and say I've made all my changes. I want to move on. Here's our um, here's our recap screen. We're going to do eight cards over eight weeks, KW Inspirational. We can select what day we want to start. You can just click on the calendar here, decide what day. I'm going to just leave it at today. Um, and then it just kind of gives us a recap of our branding, if you would. And we're going to say we'll go ahead and fire it off. We're going to go to the next step. It gives you one last opportunity to review all of your, your emails. All right, you can just go ahead and... If I want to, I can click on the next email. that will go out. Okay, But I'm good with all this. I've looked it over. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I accept these terms. I'm going to go ahead and launch the campaign. All right. Now the other thing that I think is really cool is you can go into history. And you can know what you've been sending out. So for instance, I'm going to click yeah, on view all of my campaigns. It's really important to know what we're sending out, who's on what campaign, we've got individuals going out. Um, so there's a history in here that we can check all that out at. So um, real easy, you just click on the history button. And I'm going to actually look at all my campaigns, how many I've got going out. All right, so you'll notice down here it's one out of like 35, but I've got about 350 campaigns going out right now, which is really cool um, because I know that they're going out and I don't have to worry about them. But what this does is it tells us who it is, what campaign's going out, the duration, the start date, how many we've sent, and then how many we have left. Okay. Now the other neat thing about this is we've got an agent, his first name is Joe, who just signed on board with us and he was in one of these drip campaigns 
but he doesn't need to be anymore. So I'm going to type his first name, and it's going to take us down to where all the Joes are in this list. And here's the agent that I want to actually cancel out of this. So if I just click on Cancel, he'll be eliminated from there because he's with Keller Williams already. So really neat tools for not only sending information out, but for tracking the history. Um, knowing that I've got 350 campaigns going out right now, and then I can just keep adding more.